Thanks very much, guys. Max, let's go back to last night, kind of work our way backwards. Obviously, Tapera comes in there, high leverage situation. That's not an easy spot to, to be put in, but Lorenzen talked about it after the game. Madden talked about, about it after the game, how difficult that is to come to, uh, out there out of the bullpen and get it done. Yeah, absolutely. That was a phenomenal job. Came in there and, you know, threw three pitches and, and uh, got the job done. You know, he's he's been in this league for a while, so um, he's been in some really big situations and, and uh, you know, came out on top. How about Lorenzen working with him last night? I mean, the longest outing of his career as a starter. He's been nothing but impressive since he's joined the Angels rotation. What is it like for you working with him? It's been awesome. Um, you know, I was able to form a relationship with him, you know, over the offseason. You know, we talked a little bit here and there about what he likes to do and just kind of just getting to know each other and, you know, throughout spring training, you know, going out and eating dinners and, um, yeah, just, just real comfortable with him. And it's been a lot of fun. Um, you know, he's got... You know, a bunch of different pitches. Um, you know, he's exciting. He can get lefties out, righties out. He's got multiple weapons, and, and uh, you know, we're expecting that, you know, throughout the course of the season. He really is impressive with all of the pitches that he has. I remember after his last outing, the one back at home, six scoreless, he said that you guys were kind of improvising out there. He didn't have his best stuff. So what is that like working with a guy when he's saying he doesn't have his best stuff and you guys are going on the fly basically to figure out what works, and it obviously paid off? Yeah, I would say just... Filling up the zone, that's a big thing. I mean, I, I would say his stuff was better than he gave it credit for. But, uh, yeah, I, I think for him, um, you know, just simplifying it, too. You know, if he feels like he doesn't have the best stuff, and then kind of going from there. I mean, there's plan A, B, and C, and D, and sometimes you need to go to plan you know, be a little little quicker than you thought or see, and and then, um, you know, figure a way to get it done. From a catcher's perspective, what is it like partnering with him and being able to, you know, work alongside him as the game goes along, particularly when you got a guy going like he was last night, you know, just wiping all of these guys out, basically, and, you know, being able to be there in the ninth inning? Yeah, um, for, for me, it's just, it's all about... Um, you know, seeing what's working for him and then seeing how their hitters are adjusting to it, too. You know, are they making adjustments on his stuff? How's his stuff look? What's the situation of the game? Um, who's coming up soon? There's there's a lot of different things to go into it, but um, I would say the big thing is he was in complete control yesterday. You know, it was the only downside to last night was the, you know, the long half inning, you know, the top of the ninth and then going out for the bottom of the ninth. You know, obviously it was a cold night and, um so that, that, that was tough for, for him to go back out there. And, um, but, I mean, he, he threw the ball extremely well.